Do you use Ignite for your file storage? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a signed document. So I'm going to go up to the top left hand corner of my dashboard. We're going to click on where it says my forms and we're going to head to my signed documents. Next, we're going to click on the green create signed document button. And if you already have a PDF document that you would like to use for this situation, you can always upload your own document right here. But for this case, I'm going to go ahead and use a template. And to keep things simple, I'm just going to go ahead and use this simple one page lease agreement right here. Now, when I'm working with signed documents, the first thing I like to do is always scroll through the document just so I have a good understanding of what I'm working with. So I can see here that everyone up here on the top is orange, which means it's one signer. So if I scroll down to the bottom, I see the tenant here is in purple. Now, if I scroll back up to the top, I know the tenant is right here. So I know I'm going to need to change this over to the tenant, which is super simple. And if there are any missing fields that I need, this is very similar to our form builder. We can just add them right over here. So if I wanna drag in an email, super simple. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and trash the email. And from here, as long as you're happy with your document, we can head up to the middle tab settings for our integrations on the left-hand side. Then I'm gonna use the search option right up here at the top and we are going to search for Ignite. Now, in order to authenticate this, we need our Ignite domain. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. We'll authenticate and allow access. And from here, we need to choose where we want these documents to live in our Ignite storage. So right here, it's going to automatically put it in shared. If you want it somewhere else, you can always change that here. And then we can also change the name of the folder that it's going to create. So right now it's called no folder. I'm going to go ahead and utilize the document fields. So that way I know exactly whose folder this is. So if I click on the document fields, I can put the lease E or the tenant. Perfect. Now let's complete the integration and finish. Now all that's left is to give this a test. So I'm going to head up to send and I need to put my tenant or the leasee's name in right here. Now, if I hit send to sign right now, both the landlord and the tenant are going to get this document at the same time. And that's not what we want to happen. We want to make sure that the landlord gets it first to pre-fill out and then the tenant gets it to verify and sign. In order to do this, all we need to do is turn on the signing order right here. And if for some reason they're in the wrong order, we can just drag them around. Super simple but I think we're good to go. So let's send to sign and let's head up to our landlord's email and we will review and sign the document. And we can see it already pre-populated my information here at the top. So just for the sake of time, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and just do these last two required fields. We're going to do our sign and then we are going to date. Then we'll head back up to the top, sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to the tenant or the leasee's email and review and sign this document. And again, it went ahead and pre-populated their name. So let's go ahead and get this signed. We'll choose the date. Perfect. And sign and complete and accept and send. Now let's head over to Ignite. So we can see my shared documents right here and then we have the other documents folder. So let's go ahead and refresh our Ignite. And here is our new folder. We can see right over here and we can also do the drop down right here. And we see my new lease E right here with the signed document. And then we also get an audit trail so we get to know exactly when and where this document went. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Jotform Sign with your Ignite file storage account, let us know. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.